Hello, hello, happy Sunday. Um, so excited to share a couple updates on my hair and some things that have been going on. So wanted to get on here real quick and, and do a live. Um, I find that going live helps me be a little bit more accountable. I don't, uh, uh, you know, doing the lives really helps to just make sure I, I actually get on here and share updates. Um, sometimes you guys will see that I'll record videos and edit those videos, but that takes a lot more time and commitment. So um, you may not see this video live. Um, but hopefully it will be informative for you and uh, you'll catch it later. So I'm just going to get jump right into it today. I wanted to um, quickly get on here to share a few updates with my hair since the last time um, I went live or the last update that I have shared. Um, the last live I shared with all of you that I, for the first time, would be washing my hair. I had washed my hair actually um, without braiding and banding my locks beforehand. And I wanted to provide a progress update on that experience and how my locks look today. And if that, you know, shampooing without braiding and banding, was it hard on my locks? Did it ruin my locks? So the good news is my locks are thriving, they're healthy, they're fine. Um, the uh, Washing my hair without braiding and banding did not um, have any bad uh, impacts on my hair. I think I might've had a handful of locks where there was some bunching or gathering towards the end of the locks. Um, and I did have that verified by my loctician last week because I had a re-tightening last week where uh, my locks were touched up. Um, on the 18th, so like a week from this past Thursday. So last, not this past Thursday, but the Thursday before is where I had my locks touched up. Um, it was well overdue. It was time for me to get my locks retied. And so she did examine my locks at that appointment. And my loctician said everything looks good, that I didn't have any issues. So I'm really excited about that because I can continue to shampoo or wash my hair without braiding and banding. So I wanted to um, share a little bit about that experience. Um, so the last live that I did was the first time that I had shampooed my hair without braiding and banding. And I've now washed my hair three or two additional times since that video. Um, it's due for a wash now, so I'll probably wash it uh, sometime this week. And the second time I washed it, I was trying to figure out how to do it a little bit more um, in a more a, a more seamless way, a way that would make the experience a little bit easier on me, because without you know there are pros and cons in my opinion to washing your hair without braiding and banding, um, and some of those benefits you know is much more it's faster, it's less you know steps that you have to take to to wash your hair. The downside is that. Um, I have 500 locks and so that's right. I have 500 locks. So I have a decent amount of locks and my hair is not like super, super thick, but I do have, it's not thin. I don't have thin hair. So it's probably about average thickness. And so it's a lot when you're washing your hair and it's not sectioned off. Um, it's just a lot. So I found kind of the second wash I did, there was a little bit of a happy medium where I um, section my hair off with clips and then I would wash each section and then after I wash it, put the section in a braid um, and just to kind of keep the hair out of my face. The third time I washed it, I was just straight lazy. I didn't have a lot of time, I actually washed it before, like in the morning before I started my, my work day. And so I was just being lazy. I just washed my hair. I needed to wash it, um, you know, at least 24 to 48 hours before my retie. So I washed it the Wednesday morning before, um, the day before my retie. Um, so I went ahead and, and did that. And, you know, when you just kind of wash it, when you just wash your locks without them being sectioned, it's just, I feel like there was just locks everywhere, you know, trying to get, get the sections in there and moving the hair around and really get in and, 
um, get to the scalp and make sure that I'm cleansing my scalp and really cleansing my the actual locks as well. Um, so it was a little little bit of work. Still easier than when I was a loose natural. So I really can't complain in that regard. Um, but ultimately, everything's been fine. My hair, um, the the I was really concerned about washing my hair without braiding and banding, but I didn't, you know, at the end of the day, everything has been fine and healthy. So clearly my hair was ready for that. So I'm super excited to have reached that milestone um, and very relieved uh, that that process has started. I've also noticed that um, it does take uh, a little bit longer for my hair to dry than when I first got my locks because my locks are thicker. Um, but it is because my hair is not in braids. Um, they're not, it's not braiding and banded. It does dry faster, um, than when I was braiding and banding my hair. So wanted to share that. The other thing I wanted to jump on here really quickly to share is I did not, um, provide kind of my lock anniversary for this month. Um, my lock anniversary was actually on the 18th of August. I hit my 19th month of having sister locks on the 18th of August and it's been a little crazy. Um, life has been very busy with uh, kids going back to school and some stuff for me with work and just a lot of different um, activities and things going on. So I had not taken the time yet to um, provide an update on my lock anniversary, but I did hit 19 months, whoop, 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 hit 19 months on um, August 18th. And my hair, you know, in terms of any differences, there's just not a lot of change since last month. It really is a lot thicker. Um, you know, each month I'm noticing it's, it's gotten, it, it is getting thicker. The, the locks have really started to swell. Um, and the only other difference is it's a bit more of a struggle to put my hair up into a bun um, on the few occasions that I do pull my hair, particularly when I'm working out, but sometimes I will wear it in a bun. Um, it is a little bit harder and the locks in the back are not technically long enough to really reach up um, to, to a high bun. I mean, some of them are, but a lot of them are not. So I can't even imagine how much thicker it's gonna be when it gets longer and those locks are actually in the, the ponytail. Um, but that's really it. I'm just looking at my notes to see if there's anything else that, um, that that's changed, but that that's really it. And you can see, uh, just kind of give you a texture shot of my locks so you can, um, really see the texture in here. Um, they are thriving really, really well. You know, you can see that that texture. I love the texture of my hair. I love that kinky look. Um, and I mean, best hair decision ever. I can say that now with confidence that it it has been the best hair decision for me to lock my hair. Um, so easy and carefree. I literally, in most days, I don't do anything to my hair, and when I'm when I feel a little motivated to do like a braid out or put some curls in my hair, you know, I'll start doing it in the back and then I'll be like, I'm not doing this. And then I stop and take it out. That's how lazy I have become. But it's been really nice not to really have to think about my hair. So just kind of want to hopefully you can see the back of my my head. OK, uh, but this is how it looks in the back. Um. And this side, I usually, in terms of how I style it, I mean, I usually wear it like this. Um, there's just not not a lot that I do. I usually keep the same side part and wear it like this. Occasionally, I wear it to the other side. I still do have some locks in the front that have quite a bit, I mean, just a little bit of that heat damage left. You can see some of these where, like, this is a really good example of where that hair um, like this is just not going to lock. It's damaged. Um, it was pretty straight when we started. And so I'll continue to have her trim those off, you know, little by little. It's almost all gone. There's still a few places. I can see like this one is another example where it's just bone straight. Like that's never going to um, really curl up to 
to form, you know, a lock. It might mat a little bit, but I don't really want this long term. So I'll be, be trimming that. And then that's really it for my hair. Um, please let me know if there are any questions that, that you all have. Um, the last thing that I wanted to share every time I do a video, a live video, I try to shout out any um, small businesses or uh, black owned, uh, minority owned, women owned businesses that I have supported or that I'm wearing. And so today I did want to just give a couple shout outs uh, before I wrap up. The first is my lashes. Um, I do have on strip lashes by um, Love Lady Lashes. She is in Waterloo, Iowa. Um, and she has some great lash options for you. Um, if you're, if you like to wear lashes, I do sometimes wear them. Sometimes I have lash extensions on and then I don't wear the strips, but in this case, um, I do have decided to wear them today because I went to church today. So I wanted to look nice, you know, look appropriate, um, and kind of jazz up my makeup, makeup a little bit. So I have on strip lashes from her love lady lashes, love lady lashes again, right in Waterloo. And then I also am wearing um, just a really cute bracelet, um, really simple, really cute bracelet that I found um, in Cedar Rapids at the Czech Village at the Rustic Cheek Bo Boutique. I had to look that up. R Rustic Chic, Rustic Chic Boutique. Say that three times fast. So the Rustic Chic Boutique is where I got my this bracelet, um, it's a really cute little boutique on um, in Czech Village, super cute. They have a lot of different um, little uh, uh, jewelry items and just lots of little cute stuff like knickknacks for your house. They have all kinds of things. Um, it's a small, a really small store. Um, and you know, you have to be in there, probably circle the store about four times because otherwise you'll miss a lot of the really cool stuff that they have just because they have so many, um, cute little items. So I wanted to shout that small business out. So again, rustic chic boutique, and then my eyelashes are love lady lashes. That's it for the update this month in terms of my lock anniversary and how my sister locks have done uh, without washing, without braiding and banding. Everything all is well, and I am officially done braiding and banding my hair to wash my hair. It's only taken 18 months to get there, but nonetheless, I don't have to do that anymore. All right, have a great day. Thanks, everybody.